Ever wondered how many solar panels are required to run a Tesla? I'm Nick, author of a book about off-grid solar power. Join me in this video as I will explore these three scenarios. The first is designing an off-grid system that can maintain a daily commute with solar panels and batteries. I will show you the diagram and cost involved. In the second scenario, I will answer the question if it's worth it to add portable solar panels to your parked car. The third and last one will be about charging a Tesla with 5 kilowatts of grid tight solar. You might wonder, why don't electric cars come with solar panels installed on the roof? As you will soon see, it's not worth it, and it would add extra cost to the car for a very small charge. To answer the question in this video, you would need 25 kilowatts of solar panels to charge a Tesla on an average day. That will be quite expensive. So let me show you some alternatives. The average American commutes about 40 miles per day. While I don't personally drive a Tesla, data suggests that 4 miles per kilowatt hour is a conservative figure. Many reach up to 4.5 or even 5 miles per kilowatt hour. However, for our calculations, we will stick with 4 miles per kilowatt hour, translating to a daily consumption of 10 kilowatt hours to cover the 40 mile commute. I will share the diagram in the next slide. Given that most cars are away at work during the day, when the most solar power is generated, we will design a system to store solar energy and batteries, ready to charge your car when you return home. To simplify the calculations, we will ignore the energy loss of the charge controller and inverter. You will need the battery system to store the generated 10 kilowatt hours. We will use two 48 volt 5 kilowatt hour server racks. I will give a price estimate of all the components at the end. Product links will be in the description. Charging a Tesla requires converting the solar energy into DC power for storage and back to AC power for charging. For this, I recommend the EG4 3 kilowatt off grid inverter. It's perfect for off grid setups due to its high solar input voltage and simplicity as a single unit. The EG4 advantage lies in a straightforward setup and high solar input voltage. It's not made to connect to the main electricity grid, so it's an off-grid system. Only for charging your Tesla or as an emergency backup to power your fridge and a few appliances. Next, we find out the amount of solar power we need to charge our 10 kilowatt hour battery with an average of 3.5 sun hours daily for Houston during the winter. I will explain sun hours in a moment. This requires 3330 watts of solar power. But as you already know, solar panels do not produce 100% of the rated power. It's more like 80%. So we divide by 0.8. We become a total of 4200 watts of solar panels. If we use 365 watt solar panels from Sand and Solar, we need 12 solar panels. We have to wire in a 6S 2P configuration in order to limit the input voltage to 500 volts. That means we will wire 6 panels in series and then parallel with the other set. For a total of 12 panels at 4380 watts. We also need inline MC4 fuses and Y branch connectors. Some people get confused about sun hours. Let me explain. One sun hour is 1000 watts per square meter. You should not confuse this with the actual time the sun shines. Three sun hours is 3000 watts per square meter per day. Or six hours of sunshine at 500 watts per square meter. Sun hours varies by location and season. You can see this when we compare sun hour charts for Houston and New York showing significant differences. These calculations are based on averages. Some days will produce more and some days less. Don't forget that the idle consumption of this hybrid inverter will be about 1500 watt hours per day. You can reduce the consumption by turning off the unit after charging and it will still charge the batteries with the MPPT. You can also enable power saving mode which is disabled by default. We have to connect the Tesla charger to the AC output on the inverter. 
the output is 3000 watts. So to empty the 10 kilowatt hour battery into the car at a 3 kilowatt charge rate, it will take 3.3 hours. The charging current will be 25 amps. The total cost for the system will be $6,000. You can also use the system during a power outage to power your household appliances. Is this cost effective? The average electricity price in the US is 20 cents per kilowatt hour. The cost to charge 10 kilowatt hours from the grid is $2 per 40 mile charge. It will take 3000 charging cycles or 8 years to break even, assuming the electricity price stays the same. Do you charge your car with solar? Let us know in the comments, so we can learn from each other. There are videos of people adding a portable solar panel to their car. They use a solar generator, which is a small battery with an inverter. Let's say you can have 200 watts of solar panels. How many miles does this produce? It depends on the amount of sunlight. Let's say it's a typical summer day in Las Vegas with 7 sun hours. As you already know, 200 watts of solar panels will deliver about 160 watts. These panels will deliver 1120 watt hours or about 1 kilowatt hour. Since 1 kilowatt hour gives you 4 miles, we will get a range of 4 miles. In my opinion, that's not worth the trouble, but it makes for a cool video anyway. This is also calculated in favorable situations. Summertime in Las Vegas with 7 sun hours. In reality, you will get less than 4 miles. Do you like the content of this video so far? Subscribe to the channel to keep updated whenever new videos are uploaded. The next setup describes a grid tight solar system with solar panels on the roof of the home. The average solar installation for American homes is 5 kilowatts, equating to roughly 14 panels at 365 watts each. The standard Tesla model has a 60 kilowatt hour battery. On an average sunny day with 3.5 sun hours, a 5 kilowatt hour solar array can generate around 14 kilowatt hours of electricity. Given that 1 kilowatt hour can drive a car for 4 miles, a household with such a solar setup can expect to add approximately 56 miles of driving range each day. This figure, however, is an average. Actual daily output may vary with weather conditions, producing less energy on cloudy days and potentially more on sunnier days. To fully charge a Tesla with a 60 kilowatt hour battery using a 5 kilowatt solar array would take roughly 4.3 days, assuming an average production of 14 kilowatt hours daily. A grid tight solar system will be cheaper, especially if you have net metering. Share how you charge your electric vehicle in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, and I will see you in the next one.